Hi everyone, I'm Mike and by the time this video comes out, season three of Portrait Artist of the Week will have started just a few days ago. Um, but I just wanted to review the work I did in season two and then come up with a plan for season three. So this was the last painting I did for season one of Portrait Artist of the Week. So this is Dame Mary Beard. And throughout season one, I experimented with a lot of different techniques to kind of get myself back into portrait painting. This one was my favourite of the entire season, and I combined watercolour marker pen with interactive acrylic and some tinting white uh, interactive acrylic as well. And I'll come to, back to that in just a bit. So that's how I ended season one. And I wanted to continue in this kind of general technique and style for season two. So for the first week of season two, I painted the DJ and presenter Annie McManus. And on the whole, I was reasonably happy with this one. The likeness isn't great. I've, look, I've made her look a little bit strained uh, in terms of her expression, but there's a certain lightness of touch in terms of the application of the paint, which I was, you know, fairly happy with. But moving on to week two, then it was Nihal, another uh, DJ and uh, radio presenter spend a little bit more time on this one compared to the previous week and I was really happy with both the likeness here and the vibrancy, the, the whole range of colours I got uh, in this particular portrait. Um, I used some of the tinting white again, again I, I will go into that in more detail in just a moment, but you can see I'm starting to use more of the fluidity that comes with using the interactive acrylics and the way I've treated his top there. Next it was on to Mel Black of All Saints fame. This one's kind of almost unique from season two really in that it's really probably the most vibrant piece that I did for season two. You can see I've really kind of got some quite dramatic colours in the, in the face and some wild colours in the hair and the likeness it's okay. Um, I, think she, I think it is recognisable as Mel and I think it's perhaps one of the more interesting paintings I did for this season. I don't know if it's my personal favourite, but nevertheless, I think it's pretty lively and, you know, eye-catching. On to S Samira Ahmed, a uh, renowned journalist. This one's OK, not my favourite painting of, of, the, of the season, but what I do like about it is just the general looseness and freedom that I've got in the brush strokes. It's not fussy at all, and what I'm starting to do here more than perhaps any other of the paintings so far from this season is you can see the face was initially treated using the fluidity and easy blending you get by spraying the interactive acrylics with water as you paint. And I continued that throughout the top and the hair. And then having let that dry, um, I then come on with some more opaque little patches of colour. And it's kind of a similar technique, but more subtle than what I used for Mel. Um, and I quite like that technique, the combination of the first treatment of blending combined with just little patches of more opaque colour for highlights and so forth. Next up was Floella, Floella Benjamin. And this is one of my personal favourites. I really like the strength of character and kind of the sense of a regal nature I've captured. And I think the likeness is very strong as well. I continued the same technique I used with Samira with Floella. Again, you can see this blending uh, on the first layer, sort of working wet in wet on the treatment of the of the skin. But then again, I've got these little patches, these little highlights dotted around. This one's much better drawn and better structured and just better composed on the page. So that that one I was pretty happy with. And that's that's one of my favorite recent paintings. Now, this one I feel is a classic example. This is the actor Russell Tovey. I think this is a classic example of sometimes when d doing less is, gives you a more effective painting. So I can't remember exactly how long this one took. I think after I'd done the initial watercolour marker drawing, I think maybe only 45 minutes. And I just decided to stop because although it's kind of a little rough and ready, um, you know, the, the brushwork isn't as refined as some of the earlier works. I just feel I captured Russell and so I just decided to stop and I'm really glad that I did. But it really kind of made me realise, and I've mentioned this before in previous videos, it's, it's just critical to get the drawing right. when I'm doing, If I want to do a portrait quickly at least and not just work for hours and hours, 
um, and obviously for the demos I'm doing on the channel you know, I don't want people to have to sit through like a four hour through a four hour demo so um, and I like working quickly anyway just for me I just kind of feel the energy stays fresh and you know you just get, get a certain amount of vigor in your brush strokes in those early stages which with the best will in the world the longer you work on the painting um, the less dynamic I become anyway uh, so this one very happy with again one of my one of my recent favorites and I think the likeness is very strong as well then on to Jon Snow so again um, worked reasonably efficiently on this one pretty good likeness I feel perhaps that I could have chosen a better expression and a, um, but you know it's sort of a quiet moment and I like the combination of colors and here I've started to use uh, some fluorescent orange for the background layer okay so that's kind of adding an extra vibrancy to the painting which I which I really like Leslie Garrett next and this is perhaps my least favorite of season two it's not that it's a bad painting as such in fact there are areas of it I really quite like it's sort of got a likeness of touch but um, I didn't quite get the likeness the colors I've used in the face or the color combinations I should say they're not my favorite um, so that was okay but you know not, not my favorite painting of the season and then this is Danny Minogue and if you happen to catch the real-time demo I did for this final week of season two you'll know that I was a little conflicted about this painting because when I compared my drawing and sort of my proportions to my reference I found that they are actually pretty good you know but because I ended up changing all the colors which I really quite like I, I like the fact I changed pretty much every color in this painting from the reality except perhaps the color of the eyes um, I feel it it sort of, it does look like Danny but not at the same time so I'm still a little conflicted by it but I do like it as kind of a finished painting so my plan going forward is what I want to do with each season of this show is I want to just kind of you know have a loose plan for the technique I want to explore so I'm going to take the same general approach but as mentioned uh, I was using a combination of the tinting white which has a slight um, iridescence to it but more perhaps more importantly I think it's a little bit more fluid and it's certainly more transparent than titanium white okay so I would tend to in the previous paintings I would sometimes use the tinting white for the early stages and then perhaps for a little highlight here or in the eye I've been using the titanium white or if I just want to cover up certain areas and I want to put for my future work in season three, I want to put much more emphasis on using the titanium white, even for the final highlights. So that's the first thing I want to aim for. And then the second thing I want to do is think a little more carefully about the watercolor marker I'm using. So I had some problems. I think you can perhaps see it. Uh, yeah, with this one with Leslie, for example, I like drawing in blue. I don't know why. It's just something I really enjoy doing. Um, but when I was working kind of wet and wet, I, I did get, you know, like a little trickle of watercolour here. And I don't necessarily mind that, but I had some other occasions this season where the watercolour marker, when it was running a little bit as I applied the paint, while sometimes that could be like a really beneficial effect for portrait work, I sometimes found that it slowed me down and made me less efficient in terms of conveying the, you know, and creating the image that I want to create. So I think I'm, what I'm going to do is use more of an orange uh, watercolor marker to start off with. So that's going to be closer in for pretty much any skin tone. That's going to kind of meld better with the paint I'm putting on rather than a blue, which is far too contrasting in general. Um, and then if I do use blue, I'm just going to use like a, the fine nib of the pen, basically, rather than the brush pen. So there we go. That's kind of just a very brief review for this bonus video, just really for me to help me get my thoughts straight as well and hopefully communicate to you guys how I'm thinking for season three. So I hope you enjoyed this little review. I'll be back on Sunday as usual for the next episode of the Sunday Art Show. And I'll be doing a real time demo of painting the actress, the Irish actress Nicola Coughlin from uh, Bridgerton and from Dairy Girls. So I'm really looking forward to putting that video up. And I uh, hope to see you on Sunday. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe.